Hello, uh, I'm Sui Park. Uh, I'm, an, uh, I'm a Korean artist based in New York. Uh, I was born and raised in uh, Seoul, Korea, uh, and I was uh, just uh, an ordinary kid. Um, yeah, like uh, yeah, like others. Like I just like to to play uh, play and yeah, just dolls and like you know the play outside, and uh, I cannot recall like the specific moment uh, the. Where, uh, when I just realized that I am really interested in art, but um, I um, yeah, I will still remember that like uh, when I was a middle school st uh, student, uh, many of my friends and like my classmates like they wanted me to draw some like the whimsical characters and like a kind of like a girls comic cartoons. Uh, yeah, they, they thought uh, they thought that like I was good at it, <laughs> so they wanted to receive like those like the <laughs> yeah, drawings. Uh, so still like uh, the, what I remember that is. <laughs> yeah, the most important thing. Uh, that I learned uh, in art school uh, was how to build like the art concept and theory that makes uh, the my work uh, be strong. Um, and like yeah, I also learned like the many uh, the techniques like in fiber arts like such as like weaving and embroidery and like dye. Yeah, but I'm like that is just like a technique, and like I just learn like how to adapt like those techniques into my art, and like to express like my concept and my voice. Uh, that was the most important thing. I worked as an interior designer in Korea for three years, um, and I just came to U.S. Like it. I just followed my husband, but I'm like I didn't know, and I had no idea what to do. But um, I just realized that like I was really struggling, like it, you know, learning about architecture, like while I was working as an interior designer. So like I decided uh, to go to graduate school, like to study further, and. Deeply, yeah. So that's why, like, I yeah <laughs> went to graduate school. In my college in Korea, like, uh, the yeah many like professors like they already like studied in abroad, so they know how to teach like in Western ways. Um, but um, I just like felt that like still there there was a hierarchy, uh, so like. Uh, so it was not easy to like freely discuss like you know the and share like you know the students opinion like uh, <laughs> with like a professor uh, but um yeah in the US like it was like a pretty open to like everyone in the class so and also like I was open to that yeah so um, I could get like many like the good advices um, yeah so that was the big, uh, the biggest yeah, difference. Yes, uh, the uh, the ones I decide to study like architecture. So I went to Baltimore, like at the to attend the, uh, Maryland Institute College of Art. So I studied environmental art uh, design, and uh, the it was very interesting because like the uh, Baltimore has like many issue about like you know the public housing and like the. And many like social issues, and I was really interested in that. So uh, that's why, like, I studied. Uh, I decided to study like adaptive reuse uh, at uh, the RISD, the Rhode Island School of Design, 
because like the adaptive reuse is like uh, the uh, is focusing on how to revitalize like the old structure and like old like social infrastructure like uh, to uh, the new like environment like, and new development and projects. Uh, so uh, those kind of like the study uh, the affects me to think in various ways and like the and it provides me like how to adapt like uh, the given space into my work and how like make how to make like my work to be harmonized with the given spaces yeah it's very different like uh, the when i install like uh, inside like i i just like uh, the considered like the space and the size and like the yeah, the height or like a very physical like the uh, things uh, in the space but um uh, when I install like my work outside it's totally different there are so many things like I need to consider and check uh, such as like a weather condition and shadow and also like audiences like and also like the many like the <laughs> the environmental issues like the insect or such as yeah, those kind of like many things. The installing like my work inside is much easier somehow, yeah. But um, uh, the outside also like the I feel that like I get like advantages from like the outside setting, cause like you know the there was always like unexpected moments and things just come up, and uh, it really helps my work like in a, the uh, in a good setting. Uh, so. Uh, I really love like those kind of like unexpected moments. I cannot recall like a specific uh, yet the uh, yet the moment, but um, uh, what I remember was like when I was junior in uh, my uh, the school like in Korea. I just learned how to make basketry and how to weave. At the time, like I used like the plastic, the clear tube, and yet the the monofilament. So I I don't know why, but I'm like I was very fascinated like using those kind of materials like and uh, to create a kind of like organic forms. Um, Cause like it was. Uh, very interesting that like the mass produced material they are like very industrial and very artificial but um, they are uh, they are used like you know to create like organic forms it's kind of like irony so I was really yeah interested and in, uh, in that ways so I uh, the started using like the creating art uh, with like the monofilaments uh, since 2000, I don't know, eight maybe, yeah. And I cr at the time like I created like a, somehow like a, the 2D between 2D and 3D, and like a, the, I was in our environmental design like the uh, the department, so I had to create something like uh, some forms like in architectural way. Uh, so I started creating three-dimensional work, and like uh, when I uh, started like my um, the master degree at RISD, uh, I was looking for some like alternative materials to create like the larger scales like work, and I found like the cable ties, cause like they have like a very various like length. And I uh, consider that like uh, each like uh, the cable ties can be architectural modules, so they can be like uh, the uh, the each modules of my form and without structure. So it was really like uh, fascinating to me. So uh, since uh, 
that was like a, maybe 2012. So since then, like I still like use like those monofilament and like cable ties, and they are like both plastic. So somehow like um, the uh, the the uh, the advantage is to uh, is for me is is to get uh, and also like each to manipulate. Um, but um, uh, I have to consider, always like think about like, you know, the, the lifetime, like, you know, because like uh, it's all plastic and also like I'm, I am very sensitive, like uh, it's somehow like the environmental issue. So uh, I try not to waste my materials and I always think that like how like uh, long, like uh, how I can give them to uh, them like uh, to make like a long like, lifetime. So that's also like uh, yeah, what I always think about. Uh, I think it's both. Uh, it's not. It's not uh, easy to say like only weaving, cause like uh, I'm like uh, making and like uh, sculpting some forms. But um, I could not say like only sculpting. Yes, yeah, some yeah, cause like they are connecting and interacting each other. That's like uh, one of the uh, process like in weaving. Yeah, uh, I always like get inspirations from like our modern nature, cause like the uh, I really enjoy like traveling. Yeah, so uh, always like those at yeah, the moments like it uh, gives me like many inspirations and aware of like you know, the the beauty of nature. Uh, so I try to express like uh, seemingly static but uh, at the same time, very dynamic uh, form of like our, uh, the modern natures. <clears throat> and also, <clears throat> I want to create uh, the moment like of our evolving lives. So uh, I just want to, to express like some, like our feelings and sentiments, like and like the uh, happinesses uh, or sometimes like a very sad feelings, like so those kind of like our evolving lives uh, in a, our modern nature. Um, and as I said before, like it, the, it's kind of like an irony that like, you know, those like artificial material creates like the, this organic and uh, the, our beauty of our nature. Uh, always like it depends on like the what space like I receive and yeah I was given. Uh, so before like installation, I always like it, uh, the visit the site and see like what kind of like environmental like you know setting uh, that uh, is like used to me. So uh, the based on the like the uh, environmental setting, I decide like how many pieces like would be fit or like only like one piece would be enough for that. So uh, the the collecting all like you know the piece small pieces like to make like as a whole is not my intention. Like it's basically like from like the given space. My piece flow uh, is basically like uh, I had an idea from like the one big brush truck like uh, in Asia like uh, it says Enzo in Japanese uh, I'm not sure but I'm like uh, it's like one big stroke to make a circle like so I got the idea from that like but um, uh, the, while I was making each pieces to create like the brush stroke, it looks like 
<laughs> it's living <laughs> and like they are moving around. So it was very interesting. Like it's a, oh, even though like I try to make a certain moment, but um, they are moving and like yes, <laughs> and they looks like a, like a sea creatures, like or something like that. So I got like many feedbacks, like <laughs> yeah, those kind of feedback, feedbacks from like the audience. And now like I really enjoy that. <laughs>When I started like creating my work, actually like I didn't uh, yet yeah, think about like you know my Korean heritage, uh, and at the time like I didn't think that like my work reflects like the Korean heritage is like and uh, but um like as time goes by like I just felt I I just feel that like it's unconsciously like you know reflects yeah the Korean you know, like the heritage and culture cause like, you know, the, I got inspirations from like the zoom ink, like a brush stroke, like, and some color schemes. And yeah, those are, I think like it's from Korea. <laughs> so yeah, now like I just think that like, yeah, my work also like it reflects yeah, the Korean culture as well. Being away from home uh, makes me, yeah, definitely like uh, uh, miss, uh, be strong. Um, Cause like my whole families are in Korea, and like uh, now here, uh, I have like a husband and two children, but only, yeah, the, the four members uh, of my uh, family here. So there was no one that I can like ask for help. Um, so. Yeah, I just feel that like I'm like try to survive here. Yeah, and so it makes me very strong. But um, somehow like it makes me um, be frazzled. Yeah, sometimes like uh, in some set mood setting, because like I always miss my Korea, yeah, the Korean family and like uh, my country. Yeah, so. Uh, those like uh, two different, totally different <laughs> uh, the bias, like the, those moves to, like make me, uh, yeah, help uh, the, as an artist. A successful artist like uh, must have their strong theme and concept. Uh, they. Uh, need to express like uh, what they want to say uh, and affects like uh, something in a good uh, the to art world in a good way um, and also like the uh, financially uh, uh, stable maybe and uh, me uh, I think I'm still in an early stage uh, so still like I'm <laughs> yeah trying to be improved uh, but um, I think like I'm, yeah, the, I'm doing like it well. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I hope like uh, my work uh, is getting better and like, uh, and also like uh, people like my work and people uh, feel that like uh, they uh, get uh, the consolation uh, from my work. Uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you for uh, taking time to watch my uh, the artist talk, and uh, please join me uh, to this wonderful exhibition. Thank you.